Hi all and welcome back to my first ongoing Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are in or under Lake Lucaria in the village and we will continue exploring. But before we do that, just want to say that if you are enjoying the channel and the Let's Play, I would love to hit those like subscribe buttons. And for those of you who did, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, super cool to tag along in this adventure anyway, of course. And as always, I will not be talking during gameplay, only reading information and dialogue. Let's do this. Every Dukari house has an inner chamber come up to the part above the surface where you want to socialize. While inner chambers are a bit more private and customized to their owner's preferences, visitors are always free to come and go as they please. Don't be shy now! Looking for items? Recipe Bouillabaisse Valuable meant to be sold. Welcome, we have a fast selection of equipment. Found one old coral vase. Teaks might get a story from this. Our tribe comes from the deep blue far below the ocean floor. As aquatic nomads, we followed the guidance of the Oracle of Tides for generations, establishing encampments ever closer to the surface. As you can see, we eventually made it to our destination. After the Carrier Village was founded, we abandoned our nomadic way of life. Found one rainbow conch. North of here is the dreadful mountain known as Torment Peak. Stories say that generations ago, Solstice War sealed an evil within it. Which makes me wonder, how can something be so dreadful that even they would run from it? Well, now I'm scared. Guard. While some of us can wield a trident with relative uh, efficiency, we are not a tribe of warriors. Or rather, not anymore. This is our temple, where the Oracle of Tides communes with the waters of the world to keep us informed of important events. We knew you were coming, of course. Feel free to enter.
Mirna. Hello there, adventurers. Congratulations on finding Mirna's Market of Marvels. Turning your rainbow conscious right here for unique rewards. Say, oh, are you running a shop? That's Market of Marvels. Grandpa left me a whole bunch of items and relics up for grabs to whoever helps me grow my Rainbow Conch collection. Sounds fun. Where can we find them? Around. The Rainbow Conches are all the rage as of late, so the easy ones are mostly gone. Just need to keep your eyes peeled for secret areas. Some people might be swayed into giving theirs up too. Sarai. You seem to know a lot for your age. Business is a game of mutual benefit and leverage. I did my homework. I know you won't be able to resist schematics to build a tavern and a fishing house in that town you founded. What's that? You prefer epic loot like relics? You come to the right place, Solstice Warriors. See? Mutual benefit. You work for me and my Rainbow Conch collection will be unbeatable. <laughs> you sure have the drive. Question is, do you have the rainbow conscience? Any business for me today? See rewards list. Mirna's Market of Marvels. Something social, something useful, something transactional, Something bountiful, something shrewd, something healthy, something relaxing, something potent, something meta. Twenty-three conscious. Congratulations, I have something for you. Got implants. Got cornucopia. Got shop plans. Got fishing hut plans. Good day, adventurers. Might you help an old man out? Maybe. What's the matter? It's my three grandkids. They want to play hide and seek and, well, I simply cannot find them. They have a habit of hand hiding in random inner chambers. And being from an older generation, I find myself quite unwilling to barge into other people's homes. If you could find them for me, I would be forever grateful. behalf of your grandpa. Oh, so he sent you. Yep. About time. I was getting bored. Well, I win. Found one sapphire ingot. Us to curry have a particular relationship with water, which our sensitive skin feels as very enveloping. It keeps us calm and composed. If you spend too much time outside of a body of water, you are compelled by anxiety to find that comfort again. Each of us have their own threshold, some preferring to remain in their inner chambers at all times. You are welcome to visit them by using the water vortexes. Even though they are often forgotten, the more sensitive types have as much need for connection as anyone.
<laughs> you won't catch me. Oracle of Tide. As foreseen, a new generation of solstice warriors has come to seek guidance. The tide never lie. I am the Oracle of Tides, one of the three seers. Welcome. Thank you for seeing us, Oracle. We are looking for a way onto Mesa Island. Straight to the point, I see. The monsters you are hunting has put to shame a sizable force of your order in the past, and now it seems only the two of you remain. Still, you would venture into the Fleshmancer's old castle? Yes, whatever it takes. Then I suppose we should make this a serious audience. Allow me a moment to commune with the waters, and see what the flow of time is willing to reveal. Uh, we're in a hurry. The Dweller of Strife could wake at any moment. Can you get us onto Mesa Island or not? The one who does not belong here is eager to speak, is he? It is not the place of a seer to offer direct help, but rather to provide insight. May I assume it is understood that there will be no prophecy for you, foreign child? I... Yes, of course. Very well then. Warrior Cook, step forward. Hey, that's exactly... Step forward! There is a great deed you might be capable of, but it will only be revealed to you once it is too late to act on it. Okay, sure. When that moment comes, demand a flask of borrowed time. Flask of borrowed time. Got it. Thanks. Children of the Solstice, step forward. Hold still. Mm. Very interesting. But the order of these events, a real shame. <clears throat> you have been up front with me, so I shall do the same. But first, come closer. Seeing you now as I have seen you in my dreams, I know that the watch of the Dukari Oracles is at an end. At long last, the ones we have been expecting for centuries have come. This waterfall is the gateway to our world's greatest mystery, one that is yours to unveil. The Tower of Ant Soldo. An enigmatic structure concealing a door that has remained firmly shut since time immemorial. Waiting for two children of the solstice with a slim but very real chance of altering fate. Waiting for you! Right on. I always knew Valer and Sale were special. There is one other thing of which I am certain. Huh? Of all the possible outcomes, there's not a single one where you defeat the Dweller of Strife in battle. But there must be a way. Didn't you just say we might be able to alter fate? I do not make the rules, my child. You have 
had plenty of time to stare at the night inside of you. Your potential is immense, but you will not be prepared in time for the big confrontation. Regardless of what happens in that tower, there is no possible outcome where you defeat the Dweller of Strife. But we have to fight. And fight you will, but victory will not be yours. Huh. And you, Lunar Monk, with but a simple spark, you could have been the one to create paths on water and mend the connection at long last. So close and yet so far. But alas, it appears the problem begets the solution. We're still going to try. Isn't there anything you can do to help? It is not within my power to help you make it onto Mesa Island. Is the solution in that tower you mentioned? Whatever fate has in store for you, all I know for certain is that your next step is beyond this waterfall. The mysterious Tower of Ansul Glow awaits. Survive its trials and discover the secret that has been waiting for you all along. Godspeed, Solstice Warriors! Grandpa sent us to find you. He gives up. Oh, he's getting more and more tired every day. That's no fun. Yes, I win. hiding spot. Hey, your grandpa asked us to find you. Really? But I want to play with him. I think you got a little too good at hiding. He gives up. Ha! I'm the best. Thanks. I do love my little fellows. They can be quite a strain on these old knees. Here, for your troubles, I suggest you turn these into a local entrepreneur. She carries quite the inventory. Found one? Rainbow can't. Best of luck in your travels. You've found 24 conches so far. Keep them coming. And 
Sudlow. Sapphire key. Found one sapphire ore. So, no one's ever been inside that tower, huh? That's kind of exciting. It felt like a big deal to be allowed through the waterfall in the Oracle's room. Whatever we find in that tower, I got your back. I always knew you two were special, but a big mysterious tower built just for you is something else. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlock, the nomads of the seas. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. Which one? The nomads of the seas. T 
cheeks. It was like a dream. No one believed it at first, that their seemingly eternal journey could finally be over. Why them? And with the current Oracle of Tides being so young, who could confirm the long-awaited discovery? But in their heart of hearts, they knew, before them, appearing even more vividly than in their visions, stood the Tower of Ant Sutlow. And so it was that the nomads of the sea, who had traversed abyssal plains since time immemorial, would settle at long last. Having reached their promised land, they started building next to the tower. In Dukari village, generations would come and go, each following the guidance of the respective Oracle of Tides. Since that day, they have been the guardians of Ant Sutlo, waiting for those destined to open its gates. In this new era, memories of their nomadic days live on in classic tales retelling the deeds of great explorers and formidable warriors. The most popular by far is the Battle of Fates, Gaiot, a story with so many versions, it may very well be just a myth. To the best of their abilities, historians have pieced together hints from various retellings of the battle, some even dedicating their lives to the subject. It is generally accepted as fact that the Dukari almost went extinct while crossing the territory of a gigantic sea slug. What happened next is a matter of much debate, depending on the interpretation of key passages and the credibility of certain sources. Some claim that the Battle of Fates Gaiot never happened, dismissing it as a fabrication meant to scare off would-be pillagers of ancient Dukari treasure. This theory is mostly seen as a stretch, however, given that such looters, looters' inability to breathe water, breathe underwater would already be deterrent enough. Some historians say that the giant sea slug was defeated when Dukari made their last stand on a flat top sea mouth, giving the story its title. For others, the scriptures about sunken ruins are simply too consistent to be ignored. According to this version of events, the nomads sealed the monster away when they realized they couldn't defeat it. The key was then split into three equal parts, each waiting somewhere in the deep blue for future heroes brave enough to rid the world of his threat. The End And I think this might just be the perfect place to end off this part. See you in the next one. Thank you all for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. We finally have something to do with our conscious. If you are enjoying yourself, please hit those like subscribe buttons and I would love it if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.